this is really cool because I feel like this Olympics was full of so many surprises, so many ups and downs. Um, how would you describe, you know, how you're feeling today on the other side of it? Yeah, uh, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I mean, really, a lot, a lot of ups and downs. You know, I thought um, at the beginning of the week, and I, I didn't win the hundred breaststroke, which I thought was going to be an automatic. Um, I thought my meet was over, you know, for a little while, and mm. then you know, come back and, and win silver in the in the two hundred breaststroke, which is something I never thought I was going to do. <laughs> uh, so it's just been a very very emotional, both both good and bad for me. Um, but right now, feeling good, get to celebrate a little bit, and, and then head home. Did it fire you up? Did yeah, the, yeah. Did the, did the, did the, were you like, okay, cool, I didn't expect to win. Oh, no, this is going to go down. <laughs> or I guess it's more, it's like, this is going to yeah, go yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> I think so, It's definitely. such a difficult yeah. stroke. Yeah, it's weird. It's so difficult. Yeah, the brush strokers are the, we're kind of known as the weird people. <laughs> so <laughs> Is I, that I right? Like to, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I roll with it. I think I, I fit that descriptor pretty well. So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, she's like, yeah, no, I agree. I totally agree. How about you? How are you feeling on the other side of this thing? Yeah, I think I had a pretty similar experience to Lily, honestly. I mean, I've always kind of been pegged as a backstroker. Mm -hmm. And so to come away with the bronze and the 100, I felt pretty hungry for more after that. And I still had the 200 butterfly left, which has always just kind of been my fun one. Um, and also a difficult stroke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then to come away with the silver and that was extremely unexpected. Um, and I just felt on top of the world after that swim, honestly, and I just wanted to continue to ride that wave of positivity yeah. um, and just to be extremely proud of myself. And now that we're done and looking back on the entire week and this entire experience, I just want to have good memories about yeah. it. Just because this whole event could have very easily not happened. Hmm. And so the fact that we are here and this was able to go through, I just want to be extremely gracious and just feel very proud to be here no matter yeah. how I competed and performed. Uh, you, listen, I'm going to tell you, 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 were, you were a standout. This is going to maybe sound strange to you, but you were a standout before you even like qualified. You got in that pool. Do you know that people have been talking about your fingernails since you got here? You're kidding! <laughs> you know, like, they, really? like I have, yeah, like Ooh. Hoda Kotb was on the Today Show the other day talking about your fingernails. She was like, and and the fingernail trend continues. Like it was like a, a real thing, right? Cool, yeah. right? Can we get it? Let me let me see it. Yes, Can we get like check a, these out. Always has the best nails. I right? Have always. Thank I you. never have my nails done. <laughs> 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 yeah, Lily never, never does. I, it's my favorite thing because I feel like in the pool you can't wear makeup, you can't do your hair. Right. You have earrings in, but like, meh. and I feel like all you have is your nails to like express yourself. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I try to do. Okay. So what were you telling the world with these nails? With these nails, um, so I got the rings, and then each nail is a different color of the rings, except for black, because I I wanted to do some color. Some colors. Today. Um and. I don't know. I just I wanted to have the rings on my fingers and just feel really proud of myself that I'm finally an Olympian. I mean, not only finally an Olympian, but also like a medal carrying yeah. Olympian. Yeah, heck yeah. You know? Yeah. And and it's funny because I I could not agree with you more with the, regarding the sentiment of like the gold not being the only medal right. that's worth the discussion that has value that's significant. What, tell me why you were thinking like, uh, uh, hello, what's going on, people? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I have seen so many interviews from so many athletes, and the person who's been, you know, asking the questions is, is saying, how do you feel that you settled? How do you feel that you settled for bronze, that you settled for, for silver? Settled? Settled. For... Settled. And I said, That's a walk -off you know, and, and I don't think I was asked that question about my silver, but if I had been, like, I had the swim of my life. Like, I dropped okay, a second on, and on, a half. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Right? Let's do some role play. Let's do, let's let's do some role play. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's, just, let's just say let's I had go. said, Okay. wow, Lily, uh, so good to see you. Um, how do you feel, you know, gold getting away from you, settling for the, the silver and the bronze, this Olympics? Uh, would you like to rephrase that question? Ooh. Probably what I would have said. Um, but, you know. Now, tell but, me yeah. why, though. Tell me why you feel that way. I, I do, because I... You know, at, at 24 years old, I've, you know, been on the scene for a while at this point. Mm -hmm. um, it's my second Olympics. I just dropped a second and a half in one of my best races. Right. Like, right. that doesn't happen. That might never happen again. That might be the last time I go best time in that race. Hmm. Um, and had, had the swim I've been waiting to have for, for five years now. And I'm extremely proud to have this silver medal. 
and extremely proud of the race that I had. And I don't feel that I'm settling at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Uh, Overachieving, if anything. Like it's, it's, oh, yeah. really, it's really freaking cool. Um, we were just talking to a very good friend of yours, Annie. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. And we were talking about the promise that you made. Mm -hmm. her, my, I'm going to get a little emotional. Okay. I think. Um, so I'm trying to <laughs> handle my situation. Um, but we talked about the promise that you made mm -hmm. to her mother after mm -hmm. her father passed away due to uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and she got a, a little emotional yeah. thinking about the conversation you would have had. Mm -hmm. Tell me why that was something you knew that you needed to do um, and the promise you made her mom. Yeah, um, you know, her mom just kind of pulled me aside at the visitation and said, like, I, this is going to change, you know, her and both of her brothers, this is going to change my children's life, but I don't want it to derail their lives. Mm. Um, and that was something that I was like, wow. You know, I, especially in this in this very moment, in this situation where we're standing right now, like that is so powerful that you're able to recognize that. And obviously you want the best for your children, but yeah. um, I was like, you know what? We're gonna get there together and I'm gonna be there for her. And you know, we're such a close family where we train mm -hmm. and um, you just, you know, you, you have to be there for your family. And uh, that was something that was really important to me to make sure to do. It was, it was really special and like, well worth the sacrifice, Absolutely. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I, it's, it just was a, it was a, it was a story I felt like that represented the, the, the spirit of Team USA mm -hmm. and really the spirit of the games as a whole. Yeah. Like that's what it's about. Our shared humanity, coming together, working toward a goal, and mm -hmm. then achieving yeah, absolutely. greatness. It's really cool. Okay, so we have this thing called the Tokyo Take. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. It's not a pop quiz, but kinda. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's that mountain over there? Mount Fuji. Fuji. Okay, you pass. This is both of us, right? <laughs> okay, I mean, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we together? Are we together or are we yes, against yes, each other? Yes, yes, together, okay, together, okay, together. Okay, okay. okay, that was the last quiz part. Okay. Um, and it was the only quiz part, as a matter of fact. Okay. Um, who do you wish more than anybody you could pick one ticket to give to a friend or family member uh, to come watch you? Who would it have been? Oh my God, that is intense. We're going to hurt feelings. No, no, no. I have no idea. Maybe a little. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> you only get one ticket, though. You're only not... one? Yeah. I guess I can't pick a parent, because that'd be picking favorites. So probably my brother. Wait, is there a favorite parent? Don't say Ooh, it. Mouth, say it. Mouth it to me. Mouth it to me. I can't say that. Yes. I can't even mouth it to you. <laughs> you cannot be trusted. <laughs> you are right. You are right. Uh, so your brother? Yeah, so my brother. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Um, I don't. <laughs> you know. You're about to pick a parent, aren't you? You were gonna do it. I know. You were gonna do it. I can see it. You were like, Mom. I know sorry. Your, I know your answer. <laughs> I, you, maybe you do know my answer. It's gonna be a different one. I would bring my dog, Kai. He just turned one, and I missed his first birthday, and I wanted to spend it with him. So I would have put him on a plane and smuggled him into the village and kept him under my bed, and he would have hung out with me. Little Kai. Little Kai. He's a Pomsky. He's, He's so, so cute. Pomeranian <laughs> husky put together you in a 15-pound dog. You can't wait to get back, can you? Heck no. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I miss him so much. Okay, tell me this. Uh, current TV show, okay. right? A show that's on, on TV. Okay. What show would you want to be a part of the cast? Stranger Ooh. Things. Oh, you... Yeah, she knew. Yep. Bam. Okay. It's my lifelong dream to like That's fair. meet any cast member. I'm sorry. I just we can make that happen. I f no, because I, I needed to think. Yeah. <laughs> I love that no show idea. with my whole being. And the season three came out two years ago, and I'm just sitting here waiting. Waiting. For season four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all are. Kind of. Yes. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been watching Too Hot to Handle, but I want to be the narrator. <laughs> Hold up. With coming in with like a, a <laughs> solid curveball. Too hot to, some about the swim team watching Too Hot to Handle. Y'all have all been watching, too hot, have to all been watching yeah, too hot to yeah. Handle. I cannot take it. All That's of us. so funny. But I want to yeah. be the narrator. Way to be. We're obviously all starved for something. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. Where are you going to put your medals? Uh, oh, my, my two golds from Rio are in like my arts and crafts drawer. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice. Like an arts and crafts drawer, like with pe colored pencils yeah. and draft paper. And yeah. 
Are they like for your perfect circles that you draw or? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How about you, where are you gonna put your medals? Uh, well, my parents are divorced, so I like to split them between houses. Ooh, good um, call. Yeah, because both my parents are equally involved and you know they've been a part of this journey um, equally as much as the other parent has. So, I don't know how I'm gonna split this. But you have three. Yeah, the, yeah I know. What are you gonna you do with the bronze? One. Uh, I give it to my dog. Oh yeah, I give it Kai to Kai. Kai. Kai needs I it. give it to Kai. Kai with a bronze. <laughs> Heck yeah, baby. Kai coming through with the bronze. You got it. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Okay, um, is there someone in particular that inspired your Olympic journey? I don't, I don't have a specific answer for that. Okay. Um, there were like certain Olympic moments, I would say, that inspired my journey. Okay. But not like one person. Specific person. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm, well, I really always looked up to Missy Franklin growing up. Um, I don't remember the London Olympics happening, but I've watched the races many times well, since then. how old then. were you? I was 10. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you get I, a pass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, so she really was, like, my dream girl. I just, I thought the world of her, and I still do. Mm -hmm. And so she, yeah, she definitely inspired the heck out of me. So, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so if the, the movie is made, when the movie is made about Team USA swimming team who plays you in the movie oh god i think miley cyrus has to play me oh i was gonna say like we got a little bit of twang okay we got a little bit of crazy That's okay true. you want miley huh i want miley okay I'm not mad at that. Okay, thank little you. Hannah Montana in the pool. I that's all I want to be is Hannah Montana. Still, to this <laughs> still, day. Still, all you need is a wavy wig. That's, that's all you all need. I need. <laughs> that's all yeah. I need. How about you? Who plays you in the movie? I don't even know. Do you have anything for me? I have nothing. Maybe Kai. Kai. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the celebrity Kai. Yes, my dog will. Play. Yeah. Uh, no, I have no. I don't know. I kind of get like a Kiera Knightley vibe. Ooh, that'd be fun. Right. But like in her Pirates of the Caribbean get up. Yeah. You know, quickly, like wait, walking wait. up to the block in a corset and no, then this right. is something, you'd have a delay of the meet. This is something to continue my obsession with Stranger Things. So Lily's coach two years ago uh -huh. told me that I looked like Millie Bobby Brown, which I didn't agree with at all. But I, I was like, thank you. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I could see her playing yes. Thank you. Yes. It was the best compliment I'd ever received. And I was like, I could not disagree more, but thank mm. you. So you know I think that. Millie Bobby Brown would definitely play you well. 100%. Millie Bobby her. Brown and Molly Cyrus. What a combo. What a now, duo. What a you duo. want to talk about selling some movie tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, okay, well, Am I right? We can do it. Go down. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, yeah.